Hi, welcome to Laura's View and Tarot 2. I'm really glad you're here. Today's date is Thursday, May 2nd, 2024. This video does not include a compilation because I believe I'll be allowed to give you the link to the article that I found very interesting and wanted to do a read on and see if the universe had a little more information or confirmation about what was spoken about in the article. I'm taking you to a uh, AMG News article that appeared on April 30th, talking about rapid human cloning. We're just going to do a real quick overview of it before we get into the tarot read. So let me show you the article, and there will be a link to it in the video description box. Okay, bombshell report, rapid human cloning, full disclosure, living a life of illusion. So it talks about how uh, they can rapidly age a human clone to uh, in five months to look whatever age they need it to look. However, there are a few tells about those that are cloned. Um, while the uh, White Hats are doing what they can to shut down cloning facilities, there still are some, absolutely, in uh, dumbs or black sites. So... That's part of it. By the way, I'm scrolling down the article. If looking at scrolling, I'm stopping it so that if it's a problem for you, <laughs> you're okay. Um, but I'm going to continue. Look away, and I'll tell you where I'm stopping here. Okay, now it does discuss about how the uh, the memories can be um, of the one that's been cloned can be to some extent given to the clone. Um, that they can work through specialized uh, uh, with specialized technicians to copy mannerisms and voice and speech patterns. However, just like with identical twins, uh, there can be some differences between the clone and the original because some of our facial features or body features are based on things that have happened to us. It wasn't part of our genetic makeup. So you can have weather damage, sun damage, things like that, that just can't be accurately replicated. But if they need to, uh, they can with plastic surgery do it. Now, here's what I thought was interesting. These cl clones have traits that include a puffy face, and we're going to look at a few of those, and that they have no DNA, which we couldn't discern that without having, you know, technology and instruments on our side anyway. They don't reproduce, reproduce okay? And they don't sweat or tears unless it's a function added by doctors at the cloning facility. They are prone to forgetfulness. They uh, misremember past events in their own timeline. <laughs> like, what was it? Uncle Bosey or something? Anyway, especially when given new information regularly. And bruising and swelling. Now, according to this article, some, not all, but some of those we see with the uh, red eye, which we have been told can indicate they've uh, <clears throat> sworn allegiance to uh, entities that uh, humans weren't meant to uh, align themselves with. But in some cases, it's because when the clones need an update, they traditionally went through the eye socket. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Also, with this puffy face, look here, we do. He got a sausage fingers, uh, very puffy, Prince clone for Prince Charles or now King Charles. And uh, let's keep going. Now here's some politicians that have had the red eyes, just a few of them. Now they're saying that they have an ability to do those updates, not through the eye socket, but through the feet. And that's why that explains that some of these um, boots for people in the boot club really aren't about wearing an ankle monitor but because they've had an update. Now here's the celebrities. I really wanted to make sure they, I especially noticed the uh, Tom Cruise one from 2021 when he all of a sudden had this puffy face, which has since actually uh, kind of returned to normal. And they do say over time that puffiness goes away. It'd be interesting to look at whoever they're parading out as King Charles right now compared to the day of the coronation. Uh, when he had a very puffy face and those sausage fingers. And there have been times that Tom Hanks has had quite the puffy face in his many uh, <laughs> incarnations here. 
And uh, so I thought that was interesting. And there's one that's not on here that I also kind of remembered very memorably was Simon Crawley. All of a sudden, someone that seemed very vain and conscious of his looks, all of a sudden had a very puffy face and weight gain. And now, you know, he's getting praise that he's successfully lost some weight. But what if it's a matter of his clones had time to lose that initial um, joining of us with a puffy face. So I thought that was really interesting. And as long as it's not claiming, and the article did not claim that all instances of celebrities and politicians in boots were because of cloning, but just asked us to consider that that might actually be what's going on in many cases. So that that could be the boot and the uh, puffy face. And I thought it was a really interesting article. So if you care to read it, um, I enjoyed it. And let's ask the universe if to give us uh, an idea to what extent the uh, article contained truth about rapid human cloning. Personally, I believe that even though they shouldn't, clones are made of humans. Um, so let's see what uh, the universe has to tell us about that article, the truth that might be, you know, insights and information, especially about the overall um, information packet there. So how truthful, if we can get a how-to on this, um, how truthful was that information? Is it fairly accurate? To what extent, if so, and other insights and information the universe wants us to know? Okay, I'm going to switch the uh, camera. You can watch me finish working with the cards, and we'll find out together. Again, we're asking to uh, what extent was that article about rapid human cloning um, truthful, plus any other insights and information the universe wants us to know. Okay, we have the Nine of Swords, Page of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, King of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, and Queen of Swords. So no major arcanas at this time, but we do have some information coming to us from these cards. Okay, first of all, I'm going to tell you what I'm getting from the cards um, just intuitively, and then we'll look at some elements in the card that kind of bolster that intuition. And uh, first of all, um, we're just asking this question out of interest. It's not something most of us have to worry about uh, being substituted out for a clone. Uh, they're expensive to make. <laughs> and quite, quite honestly, probably most of us don't have the... Uh, personal resources to order one for ourselves. That article did mention that sometimes people do that. I thought that was kind of interesting that the very, very rich, um, they get their own clones ordered to attend functions or what have you in their stead. And I thought that was interesting. The uh, Page of Wands is a card that talks about, first of all, there's a couple of white hat cards showing up here. So not as participants in the project, but just, yes, you know, as I was speaking about this, I mentioned that the uh, um, it's the cloning seems to, of humans seems to be a deep state type of activity. And yeah, the uh, white hats are hosing it as much as they can. The, uh, but this card also talks about discovery. So this, there was a lot of discovery that was of, cloning facts, rapid cloning facts, it was embedded in that article. Um, I'm of the mind that you can read that article and probably come away with well over half of it as being um, fairly accurate, fairly accurate. And I say that because here in the middle, we've got the seven showing up and those usually end up being uh, ten, um, tens of percent for me, so 70% because um, I was asking to what extent, if so. The uh, King of Swords, we're getting into the near future now. We've got the uh, the fact that 
the capability of rolling out a lot of them has been kind of halted. Yes, they are still being produced, but again, white hats are taking action against that. So um, they're having to be way more selective about who they decide to clone and, uh, um, or taking orders, you know, sales of clones for those that are even the uh, very, very rich people. The Queen of Swords, again, is kind of telling us a little bit, this is a card of discovery. This is a card that talks about truth. So does the King of uh, Swords. So the, the swords are kind of our justice suit and also um, the written and spoken word. So again, we were asking about this spoken word and we're kind of getting a nod that, yeah, the, there's a lot of information in that article that was actually very, very accurate. I'm going to get two more cards and we'll see if there's uh, additional layers to the information for what we should have. But again, rapid cloning is a thing. Nothing we probably personally have to worry about. Okay. Just a matter of interest for us. Again, finding out how many, uh, layers to our world there really really are that we just uh, weren't given information about and so we're discovering this is one of the items we're discovering more and more about we have the three of cups and the two of wands okay this is in a political read this can indicate the party substance that's made from traumatize the little ones. And a lot of the people who have clones acting their parts, one of the reasons that they are now clones is because of that. So as a consequence of some of the justice that they may have come through, um, the uh, decision was made by the deep state to throw in a replacement so that they could continue having somebody seem to be playing the part. I know we have seen that with numerous uh, celebrities and politicians as the uh, last few years have rolled out. I really think the days of clones um, walking amongst us unannounced and um, being manufactured against maybe human consent and will is coming to an end. The world is going to be moving into a new place where we just don't have the need for creating it's one thing to animate something that can be a tool that can, uh, you know, a machine, a process, but to create something that was originally designed to hold a soul is just, it's not an endeavor. I think that ultimately the universe is going to endorse personally. So let's uh, say that we've looked into this and that article's worth reading and uh, I found it interesting and I hope you do too. To recap. I found an interesting article that was published, published in AMG News a couple of days ago, speaking about rapid human cloning, which I already knew something about. But the article postulated something I hadn't considered, that uh, some of these clones who walks amongst us, the uh, celebrities that have the uh, red eye, that it may not always be because there's been an allegiance sworn somewhere or because there's been an insertion of a brill, but because those clones have to have regular updates and traditionally it was done through the eye socket. And now they're finding ways to do those updates through the feet. And sometimes when we think someone's in the boot club, it's that they're already a clone and they're having, they've had a uh, an update. So I thought that was interesting. I thought, let's see if that's accurate. It seems like the universe said, yes, it is accurate. Not something we need to worry about. It's a point of interest. Um, definitely, because I was intrigued when I read the article. And one of the, uh, according to that article, one of the big tells on a clone is a puffy face. And we reviewed some celebrities that have, and a, a certain uh, member of the monarchy who have, uh, of recent months and years, had some issues with the puffy face. Among them, Simon Crowley, Prince Charles, and uh, I thought, and Tom Cruise. So, and there were others, but just to name a few. So we asked the universe about it. Again, we got a nod to, you know, even if it's true, we're looking into this from a point of interest, not from a need of concern. And discovery card showed up saying, yes, this is information to be discovered, discussed, and to be aware of. The uh, near future said that they're not able to crank out nearly the number of them they wanted to. 
in the past. It's a lucrative endeavor. It it was by the ultra rich being able to commission clones of themselves to make public appearances, or I don't know, maybe somebody was really intrigued by the idea of making himself be his butler or something. Who knows? <laughs> I've never been ultra rich. I don't know. But uh, it's a lucrative enterprise that the White Hats have been dealing with and trying to uh, put a stop to. Ultimately, the uh, uh, justice is going to prevail. As we move into a new world, uh, yeah, there's going to be no need for soulless animated beings to be amongst us. I mean, why not just make a robotoid and have it obviously be a robotoid? So, and one of the interesting factors was, but if when I thought about it, it made sense, often those who have commissioned clones for themselves or have been in the public eye to the point that they were done for them, um, they've been also participants in the party substance. So, no surprise when you think about it. Once you're awake and you start learning about all these nuances of uh, evil, that have been part and parcel, part and parcel of our world. And we were oblivious. And I'm not ashamed of that because that obliviousness came from a belief that, and a faith, that there was way more good and decent people in the world than there were the shenanigans gang. And I still believe that. It's just unfortunate how big the reach and how long they had to create it was for that game and the things that they felt that they were entitled to do still just blows my mind. Probably you too. But those days are coming to an end and we give no consent to have soulless beings created and used and misused. No consent is given, at least from me. And I am working and imagining and growing toward a world where this would not even be a consideration. The awareness would still be there of the potential, but it couldn't even be considered. So let's make that happen, guys. Until next time, I thank you so much for watching my video and being a part of my channel. If you're a subscriber, thank you. If you liked the video, thank you. If you didn't, just remember I didn't charge anything for it and scoot along. <laughs> so if you're willing to receive it, until next time. I wish you love and light and all things bright. Bye.